your choice isn't sort of worthy. <clears throat> I once read of a man who approached his pastor and he said, you haven't heard how poorly I sing. I know the Bible says make a joyful noise. Well, I have the noise part covered, but my singing sounds like an injured moose. Well, the problem with this reasoning is that this particular man isn't singing for his pastor, and he isn't singing for the people who are sitting in the pews. He's singing for the pleasure of God, who accepts gifts based on the heart, not on the craftsmanship. So if you have a range of one note, that note is all the more beautiful in the ears of the Lord if it's offering praise to him. In David Jeremiah's book, My Heart's Desire, he says, the joyfulness of joyful noise isn't determined by the social evaluation of your instrument, but the divine evaluation of your heart. True worship puts the song within you and leaves it in place throughout the week. The melody may be first heard here in the sanctuary of the church, but the melody lingers on as you move through your week, at school, when you're exercising, when you're driving, when you're shopping. Have you noticed that? That some songs get in your head and it's like a little worm in there, it goes around and around. I hope today when you leave here you'll sing, I saw the light all week. I remember uh, one time when I was out here doing coffee, I heard humming, hu someone humming, holly, 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 yeah, that we just sang. Music, after all, is amazing. Studies seem to indicate that your potted plants grow more rapidly and robustly if Mozart is being played in the room. Music fills the world we live in, from radios in our cars to music in elevators to birds singing at the crack of dawn to organ music at baseball games to downloaded music heard over 150 million iPods or so. We are wired for music, and I believe it is a true expression that brings glory to God and it brings peace to our hearts. Think about the importance of music in your own life. Music softens our hearts and allows God to speak to us. Next time you're frustrated about something, maybe sing holy, 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 or when the saints go marching in. You'll be amazed at the difference that, you, that worship music will make in your home or your workplace if you play it. When I'm baking, I put on the gospel music by Alabama. I love Alabama. And that makes me feel a little bit stressed. For me, it's just the ticket. It cr music creates an atmosphere that welcomes the presence of the Holy Spirit and consequently the peace that only God can bring. If you want to notice an even bigger difference, try singing with the CD or even singing your own words. And what about dancing around the kitchen while you're doing it. I can't describe the feeling of a joy and encouragement. You just have to experience it all yourself. Have you ever stopped to consider the power of music? Have you had an experience where you hear a song on the radio and then you find yourself remembering things from your life or even experiencing emotions from when you first heard the song? Huh. My parents had owned a restaurant in Guelph, and they had a jukebox in it. And one person would come in on Friday night for supper, and he always played Chubby Checker songs. You know, splish, splash, I was taking a bath on a boat Saturday night. Oh, how many of you remember that? I'm not just standing up here being silly. Okay, good. So every time I hear that song, or if I hear that song, I'm right back in my parents' restaurant with this man standing beside the jukebox, you know, tapping it. Companies commonly use magic to advertise their products. With all the technology available to us, one of the most effective advertising methods is still the good old-fashioned jingle. 
Why? Because when people hear it, a catchy song, they remember it. And along with the message or the product that goes with it, how many of you remember, you'll wonder where the yellow went. <laughs> right? What about, I want to be an Oscar Mayer weed. <laughs> oh, all those songs are, are in your mind and when 